Hopefully my audio capturing device is on as well. If not, we'll just go with the audio straight out of camera. Who are you? I'm missing something. Palette. Feels like it needs disinfecting, AKA wash the mouth out with soap. This is not soap. But my palette now is clean. Shout out to the sponsor, Miller Light. <laughs> today not today nigga it's like it's literally 3 a.m in the morning but i went down to lagrange georgia i didn't go to lagrange georgia but this is where this is brewed it's wild leap brewing company alpha abstraction double ipa volume seven eight percent alcohol by volume it's a dry hopped india pale ale with barb rogue hops. I don't know what a barb rogue hop is, but <coughs> seventh out of seven variations of the alpha abstraction family. What we're gonna do today is a comprehensive, extensive craft beer review for all of my fellow Cicerones out there. And yes, I am a Cicerone. The only thing that's different about me is I don't have titties. Okay? I don't I don't smile for the camera. Okay? <laughs> My titties are on the way. Truthfully, after I get... Fuck the titties. They're in the UPS. But as soon as I'm done reviewing the beer, I will take another can, take a picture of when holding it with the tits out. <laughs> anyway, man. We have Wild Leap. Brewing Company, Alpha Abstraction, Double IPA, 8% alcohol by volume. I've had four, five, and six. Didn't have one, two, and three. That poor, hazy as shit. That bitch is hazy as shit. Super hazy. Looks like it's gonna be a medium body beer. I like to do that because that's like aerobics. That is out of shape nigga aerobics, but why do I even know about that? Because I'm clearly in shape. But anyway, I smell this bitch from here. It's there. Nose is here. Definitely going to be a, a, a juicy situation. That, yeah, this, this, this is going to be good, guys. This is going to be good. I hope all of you Cicerones out there are... are, are, are. Let's go ahead and put it to the nose. This one's going to be bitter. I can already tell. It's going to be hopped out, I think. I'm not sure what a rogue hop is, but I'm sure a rogue hop is going to be very holiday-ish for you lame niggas on Instagram. Happy Easter. I hope everyone has a happy anniversary. The fuck up. This is definitely a fresh beer. They're just now starting to hit everywhere. I've been seeing people post the shit on Instagram for about two weeks. My thing is I'm not I'm not calling every fucking beer store just to get the shit. I have one I keep one in mind the where I know it's a sleeper store, but they get every fucking thing. And that's the one I'm going to keep going to. Shout out to my homeboy over there at Sigmund Bottle. You niggas start going to... Nah, definitely smell stanky fruit. I'm not sure if it's mango. I'm not sure if it's pineapple. But it's that stanking ass. It's that stanking ass stay on your breath fruit to where if you drink this bitch and you don't brush your teeth, your breath is going to smell like asshole. But I'm going to go ahead and get into the taste. They may have used some passion fruit, passion fruit puree in this bitch, truthfully. It's very tropical. Very tropical. Very uh, citrus. Very fruity on the front, med medium, and back. I'd say... Close to a medium mouthfeel. Bit of breadiness. <laughs> this is the one you're going to want. To be totally honest. This one is really good. And it's crazy that it's... I think all of the uh, Alpha Abstractions top out at 8% alcohol by volume. I'm not sure if one of them was 10. I think all of them were 8. This shit is really good. I can't even front on this one. Like, all jokes aside... This shit is good. This may be, that's the one thing. Six, I believe, was a bit heavier mouthfeel, and it was also heavier on your stomach. This one right here 
is a bit of a lighter drink than the six. <clears throat> Though, it's not saying a lot because it's still heavy on the stomach. Like, it coats your throat going down. This is a good beer. Carbonation, somewhat. But it's so juicy and so fruited out that you don't get the carbonation when you drink it. But there's definitely some carbonation there. Really fresh tasting beer. Very juicy. Very, very, very juicy. The other, the one thing that I say about Volume 6, and I think it's all on a preference thing, 6 was almost like more... And this is stupid as fuck what I'm about to say, man. I, but if you're a Cicerone, you have to say things like this. But if I remember right, the Volume 6 was more coating and more thick tasting and more like heavy when it goes down into your stomach, almost like kind of buttery, like milk or some shit. This one is a more drinkable India Pale Ale. So I think I like Volume 7. I think Volume 7 may be my favorite one, to be totally honest. Fuck. <clears throat> I can't front, y'all. I came in saying that I was only going to drink one of these bitches. I'm going to drink a second one. This Volume 7 may be the one, to be totally honest. And it sucks that they... But it doesn't suck because it's all about experimentation. It's always about trying new things. And I love the fact that they're just switching up the hops. But you know what would be fucking hilarious? If it's the exact same beer every fucking volume. But then all you fucking dumb nerds, including me. But I'm not a nerd, though. Y'all corny. Just in their heads makes up their own assumptions about or not assumptions like their 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 whole pre fucking tenses of you know what I think it's going to be different because this has volume this what if they're all the same nah volume 7 in my humble opinion and being a second degree cicerone from uh, metro atlanta georgia Ever heard of it? Definitely one of my favorite IPAs. Shout out to Wild Eat Brewing Company. And also, congratulations for winning number one best new brewery in the United States. Y'all deserve it. I've got to make it down there to uh, LaGrange, Georgia. I think I've been to LaGrange a couple of times. Keep making beer like this. My black, you you gonna catch my black, you gonna catch my black ass in Lagrange, Georgia, way more than the past thirty six. Ooh, shit! Don't date yourself. <laughs> Delicious fucking beer, and I can't even front. On a scale of professional wrestlers, I've got to rate Wild Leap Brewing Company's Alpha Abstraction Volume Seven. This right here. Fuck it. Straight up. This is Bret Hart. This is the Bret Hart of beers. I think that this may be the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be as far as double IPAs. A lot of double IPAs, they go too hard on the hoppiness. They go too hard on the bitterness of it. This one is super subtle on the bitterness. And I even said at the beginning of this review that I'm, oh, this is going to be bitter because it off the nose. It smells like it's going to be more bitter than what you get. It goes down really smooth, very juicy. It's not too juicy. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's a, a passion, fruit, fru passion fruit puree. You get like stanky fruit, maybe mango, pineapple, some shit like that. This is a delicious and more than decent tasting beer. Like I said, on the scale of professional wrestlers, this is Brett the Hitman Hart. It has other beers. In the volume situation, we got Owen over there. We have, uh, he wasn't related to the Dynamite Kid. He wasn't related to the British Bulldog. He wasn't really, he kind of, I think, I think it was like marriage or some shit. Jim the Anvil Nightheart. He's good if you pair him up with cheeses. <laughs> but this beer is definitely a top three greatest of all time. And I'm not just saying the IP. I'm talking about beers, period. This is one of my favorite beers that I've ever had. This is delicious-ass fucking beer. Shout out to Wally once again. I hope you all enjoyed this craft beer review, guys. It's Beer Drink.
That shit's good. That shit's really good. I fucks with it super hardcore. <coughs> God damn Real talk Alpha Leap Y'all doing everything right I need y'all niggas to talk to my P.O. officer